Um, I'll, I'll, I'll actually do them in video game order, like the chron chronological time. Let's do um, Ezio Auditore da Firenze. Sorry, I had to do it just like that. Um, the leg capes, by the way, also are the same. In the previous games, the leg capes would be stuck to his legs, and now they're not. They look like real clothing that can actually move around in the wind. Jumping, climbing, also the same. Um, not really much to say about this outfit. I think they got this one spot on. Uh, I don't see any flaws. Um, maybe the upgrades kind of thing. Like, okay, so they don't have upgrades on them. Well, because that was you buying the upgrades. This is like probably the outfit when he first started. Um, what would have been really cool is if they put all the outfits in there. Like Giovanni's outfit, then his Revelations outfit. But yeah, the cape, his back cape, kind of looks like it's like frozen. Or it's like really like, I guess, yeah, frozen stiff. So when he swims, it kind of like flies up and back, like side to side. So it, it, it kind of like... Kind of looks like a flag, just a really frozen flag. But n nothing bad to say about this outfit. I think they got this outfit spot on. And if you point his face, like if you position the camera right, he actually looks like Ezio from <laughs> from Brotherhood. So I I've never played Brotherhood, but I I watched the full walkthrough a bunch of times, and I kind of I kind of I'm really observant, so I kind of observed it. So I give this one a 10 out of 10. Uh, let's see. Sorry guys, I'm um, I just woke up. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3, Connor's Master Assassin outfit. The only thing I can say is no gloves. Also, that goes with the Altair outfit. No gloves for that too. Um, this one's okay. This one's pretty nice. Um, you see the little, you see the strings around his boots. They're too thick, like they're too visible. Um, in the game. They uh, they were very thin. You could still see them, but they were very thin. And in here, the um, the leg strings are very frozen, solid. They don't move. They don't wiggle around or, at all. Uh, nothing else to say about the outfit. I think it's good. I think it looks spot on. They even got the eagle on the front of the hood, so that's good. Uh, they even got his necklace. I thought they would actually leave that out, because I, I believe they did that in Rogue as well. They replaced it with a um, a, a neck mask that you can pull over your face when it, with a gas mask. Um, yeah, they got the Assassin's logo belt. Uh, it moves just like it does in Assassin's Creed 4 and Assassin's Creed uh, Rogue. The, the legs on there are just like this one. They, I mean, not the legs, the, the cape, the back cape. It works. I mean, like, it, it looks like it's being blown in the wind. You know, jumping, climbing, um, anything, basically, combat, you know, stuff like that. I, I give that one, like, a 9 out of 10. Just, I'm not saying, like, spot, spot on, but here's another problem with it. Another problem is there's green inside the, inside the bracer, and you can see it even behind him. Like, something's glitched out, or something's not patched. Um, I'll go to... Four. Now, I have to tell you, this is the only assassin who was not a master assassin. Actually, he wasn't even an assassin. He was not. He was a pirate. He helped the assassins, but he's not an assassin. Um, not much to say about this outfit. I mean, like I said, they, they do pretty well. They, they get it closely spot on. Uh, where the skull badge is, I don't remember those two rectangular black badges. I don't remember where that was on his outfit. I haven't really played Black Flag in a while, so I wouldn't honestly remember. Um, leg capes, front capes, uh, they blow in the wind, jumping, climbing, pretty good. Um, they got the boots spot on. The, uh, was actually, I didn't even notice this in the Black Flag game. This probably is just an, like an extension, but like if they did this as an extension, like to make it even more look like uh like he's a dirty pirate they did really well look at his hood it's really really dirty like he picked up some kind of tainted outfit like when he killed duncan wobble i mean like maybe he had duncan wobble's blood left on him i mean like 
it looks really good because the design with the dirt, the dirty hood, makes it just a a adds to the fact that he's a dirty, nasty pirate. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty good. I give this one a, I'll give this one like an, I'll give this one an, a ten out of ten. Uh, moving on to our next outfit. Uh, excuse me, guys. Ugh. Okay. Um. What I wish I would have done is also put Edward's pi pri well, beginning privateer outfit. I want them to do all the outfits. Um, they should have put Shay's assassin outfit here, but they didn't, sadly. But, okay, now we're on to Shay's Master Templar outfit. Um, this is actually not his Master Templar outfit. It's actually the same thing, but it's white instead so this is not his master templar outfit i know that's what it says on the front on the cover it's not it's not his master templar outfit uh if you go back and play it the only way you can actually get the real master templar outfit in rogue is to defeat the legendary ships but anyway on to his templar outfit um his templar outfit is pretty well pretty like close suited um i would say that Everything is spot on except for the gloves. They're like the how, how would you the perimeter, like the radius, is like way out. Like the cuffs are like super hugely put out there. The in Rogue they were smallly they they were big cuffs but they were smallly made. So there's not really much to talk about that. Um, they got the front leg capes where the knees are. They got those right, and then they got the back capes right too. Um. There's another problem. I really observed the outfits when I went into the uh, Rogue and then I went to Unity. Look at his shoulders. Right where... You see where the plating is? Like the right... Like um, like the red, the red lining on his shoulder? Look right below it. In Rogue, there, there was a, a tiny cross on it. Tiny crosses on each shoulder. There is not... That is not there. So that's the only flaw that's in there. Um, uh, there, there's nothing else to talk about. Did really well. The boots, the belt looks good. They put the, the right number of pouches on there. Um, on the Master Templar outfit, with the, which is the white one, they didn't put enough pouches, and they, uh, I think they were off by two. So this one's pretty good. I'll give it a nine. Oh, sorry. Wrong button? Yeah. I'll give it a nine out of ten. Moving on to our next one. I keep yawning, sorry. Um, okay, so since we're in Unity, I guess I'll go back and I'll recreate the Arno outfit and then I'll take off this one. So this one, I thought it was okay. I well, People were asking me, what's your thoughts on this original outfit? I was like, you know what, it's, it, it, it's fine. It's, it's okay. It's just the fact that it kind of looks like a a one pieced up trench coat within the um within the game and then when you start running his back cape start actually coming off i was like okay i changed the color i'm sorry um but yeah this is what your normal outfit looks like when you pass i think sequence to memory to um you watch a video for the phoenix project then they bring you back in the simulation with another set of sequences but this is his actual outfit um it's okay, it kind of, I wish they would take off the collar, the hanging collar, that's, that's a little weird. Um, it actually, to me, what are my thoughts on the boots? It looks like he's wearing rubber boots. Like, it looks like he's a farmer going out, or like a fisherman going out in a river, standing in the river, and he looks like a fancy fisherman, is basically, to me, what he looks like. Um, the outfit is not, I, I think it's like a small creation of Connor's with the back capes only that's where i think it that that's what they were trying to do but other than that i don't really consider his outfit to be the greatest outfit i've ever had um the greatest outfit that he had was actually and i felt like it had to do with the final outfit that you get which i will review in a minute i'm, I'm rebuilding my outfit um his outfit was very strong and it was very well created they did not have any flaws from what I could tell. Um, 
The only thing that I had a problem with the Arno's outfit besides the leg capes were the fact that he hit the beak in the front was entirely, entirely too small. I mean, like, I just, I, I sort of didn't understand it. But I guess, like, if that's what they wanted to do, I mean, like, it is a new assassin. It is a new approach. So I guess they're just, you know, I guess they're trying to mix it up a little bit, try to make their own way. So I guess, I mean, like, I guess I, I know, understand where they're coming from. Um, sorry, guys, I was refilling my ammo. It brings it down. All right. Moving on to the next outfit right now. Uh, which one? Let's see, which one should I do next? Oh, Jesus. I did Altair's. Um, th these two are DLC, so I'll go through those maybe last. Um, and these are also DLC, since it's part of, part of the, um, Assassin's Creed Unity Dead Kings franchise pack. Th these four are. Yeah, so, um, you know what? I think we'll start with Belek. Yeah, let's go with Belek. I don't have high hopes for this outfit. I do, I, I can't stress this this enough. I do not like this outfit. Belek's outfit was good enough with the back, like the, um, with the, you know, with the butt, the brown trench coat kind of looking thing, like the cape with the hood. This basically looks like one of the NPC assassins where they have the four leg capes at one time. That That does not suit with me. I cannot do that. I would get it if like, where you see how it looks like it's now in two if you would have done that that would have been that would be different but like it makes him basically look like he's wearing a torn up dress um i don't like the back i don't like how it looks uh the front kind of looks like a recreation of either shay's outfit or arno's master assassin outfit but I, I guess the boots are cool and the gloves are okay just that you know give me his outfit like literally give me his outfit do not switch his his bracer with a, a second glove that just does not work um but as it goes for the brown the brown cape i would really like it if they would have at least gave you that so it covers up the back capes because the back capes do not i'm not amused by this i kind of find this outfit a little bit of, I'm not amused by the outfit. I kind of find it amusing, but it, it, I, I, this is actually the second time I've worn this in the entire gameplay that I've ever played Assassin's Creed Unity. So I give this one a uh, like a two over ten. I'm sorry. I, I'm not a big fan of Belek's outfit after what they did with it. They flawed it up so much that I mean, like his his left hand had no glove. They won't even give you a back his back hood so it's not really that great um arno's master assassin outfit this one is very well put together this is like a second recreation this is actually this is the second master assassin outfit this is not the first one because the first one is the fearless outfit and i'll get that i'll get to that one um next this one was very well put together it looks like he's wearing a very high class buttoned up shirt um, this outfit can also be created in different colors. I have all the pieces to make his outfit, but I will say the replicated version, I'll do the replicated version too, but the replicated version does not have the buttons. These look like it's, this looks like it's very well put together, very versatile, very strong, very durable. Um, I like the back, how they made it like, like an X, and then they do the double tie closer to the, his um, bottom right, and then like, it looks like, it looks like they put like some it, it kind of looks like it's actual metal gold within his outfit um once you beat the game how i'm dressed right now like with the sword and the outfit that's what you're going to look like during the speech and after you beat the game um his boots look really well kind of look like they have iron plates on them uh leg capes are great i could i could just describe it in the uh you know the character customization but i'd rather like do a, like a full run around and I like his belt. The croissage. That is the croissage. The cross. Uh, dang it. What? I, I forgot what that word is. The you know the belt. I'll just call it the belt. The belt looks really nice. It, it's got his um, it's two straps. So that's pretty good. I like his uh his bracer. Looks like a metal plate strapped within it. But uh yeah, I would give this one a full uh, 100% 10 out of 10. Um, 
to take that outfit off, uh, let's go to his, let's see, Arno's Master Breaches, and then we've got his belt here, uh, forearms, let's just, you know, let's keep going with it, I'll show you what it looks like now, see, and then I have his hood. So now, in speaking, his entire outfit has been made. I think this is his natural color, but as I, as I said before, you can tell I'm going to switch it to white so it's more clear. Um, looks the same, looks pretty good. They don't have the X, one of the straps are missing. It's for the back piece if you ever equipped a back weapon. Uh, it doesn't have a metal looking plate outline on the hood. It's just a full color. The buttons, like I said, they, they're still there, but they don't have a button line down the middle of the chest. So that's kind of a flaw. Um, I don't think they kept the metal plates on his boots. I don't think, it, I don't think so from what I can see. They, it, it doesn't look like they did. And while it does have it here, yes, you can see it. Look at the metal plates. They did not put that on his boots. So that's another flaw that they did. I would give the building, the outfit piece, a, um, I'd give it a 9 out of 10 because of the small sample flaws. But other than that, that's not really a big issue. Um, other people were kind of enraged about the outfit once they got it. They are like, it, it doesn't look any different. It doesn't look any great. It's just the same thing. And um, it, while it may be the same thing, other people were also like, this is just a replicated version, this sucks, I hate this outfit, and I was like, well guys, they're actually giving you what you can work with, but um, yeah, that's his, uh, that's, I, I'd call that the signature outfit, so let's get down to his next, his actual first Master Assassin outfit. Back then, when Arno, uh, I'll actually let you read it right now, uh, this is a special, this is for the Underground Armory Pack. This is free DLC in the PlayStation Store. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't actually know what it is for Xbox, but it's an early concept for the outfit of the Master Assassin, Arno Victor Dorian. This was, I actually, to be honest, I think it sort of just looks like his, um, sort of like his beginning outfit. Sorry for pausing it so much, but like, from what you can tell, the leg capes are much, much shorter. You can tell they're about like nearly touching the ground. And for this one, they've got buttons on the back. Uh, this one's closer to his calves. Um, the gloves look nice. They're matching. They're they're correspondent. Uh, like the two, the uh, silver pieces on his brown, on his brown um, his brown post up. I actually do like the ascot. The ascot. Uh, the red ascot looks pretty nice. The hood looks pretty good because like it looks like he's been gone for a while and it looks like he tried to recreate his outfit like a tainted outfit. But his outfit with the boots kind of look like pirate boots. This one's okay. I'd give this one an 8 out of 10. Uh, like the red shirt. Uh, if they did not do his new, his second Master Assassin outfit, this is what you would be playing as today. So I give that one an 8 out of 10. So that one, I, I appreciate that one. Um, this one is also Arno's Master Assassin outfit. Um, Todd McFarlane is the creator of most of, in real life, he's the creator of Todd McFarlane, like, you know, McFarlane toys or outfits and stuff like that. He, so this is the outfit of Arno Victor Dorian uh, as designed by Todd McFarlane. This one was never put in the context, never put in a game. Basically, if they never had put out the underground pack, this one is basically like Todd McFarlane is at the office making plans, or he's making an outfit. Um, this one looks nice. This one looks really like really prestige, high class. I love the badge on his chest. I love how the the outfit is very um. The outfit's got the belt with the upside down assassin's logo. It looks pretty nice. Looks like they're trying to do something that might give the players like a questionable questionable outreach, like, hey, why is it upside down? Um, his braces are the same, looks nice. Um, as far as it goes with the uh, the Phantom Blade, you can't see it. That's also for a lot of other legacy outfits. Um, I saw a little bit of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I saw the introduction. The uh, the logo on the back sort of looks like the Assassin's logo, and it also kind of looks like the neck hood 
from Syndicate. I think that's why when they made Syndicate and they made the guy who said, uh, Jacob, Evie, may the creed guide you, you vagrants. I think they're trying to recreate Arno's master assassin outfit. Not let Arno die, but kind of bring him into Syndicate as this. And like, sort of recreate it for the guy in Syndicate. So I like this one. Uh, his boots look really nice. Um... Leg capes, uh, I was actually, I don't deny the leg capes. The leg capes, though it, one is shorter than the other and it goes diagonal, it really caught my attention. It really, like, made me feel like this was the outfit I wanted to play as most of all. Um, this outfit, the leg capes caught my attention. I wanted to see more of this. I was really impressed with this outfit full on. 10 out of 10. No, no regrets. Uh, our next outfit will be... Um, Thomas DeCanio. Uh, oh, Tom, Toma DeCanio. Um, for me, this one, this one's okay. Um, I don't, I don't know really how to explain this one. Just the fact that, uh, it, I think they were running, to me, I like it. I give it an 8 out of 10. I'll just say that. I think they were running out of ideas because they, um... They put the throwing knives on the back. They put the throwing knives uh, not on the front, actually, not on his belt. I think they tried to recreate Altair's outfit, but, like, for a future-wise kind of generation. And that's why they made Toma da Canio. Um, like I said, no boots. Uh, no boots contain the throwing knives. Um, it kind of looks like, like one of those office chairs on his brown leg capes. Look at his brown leg capes. It kind of looks like one of those huge office chairs that, you know, are really, really super comfortable. Um, they gave him two belts. You can see it. Uh, one big fat belt and then one skinny belt. So that one kind of caught my attention. I think they were running out of ideas, so they tried to recreate this Master Assassin outfit. Um, no gloves as well, but this is Toma de Conio. So that's actually, this is his. So I wouldn't expect them to, like, this is the first time Toma Daconio has been uh, has been featured, so this would be his outfit. No gloves was probably his gig. Um, this is not this is not a good. Re I'm not saying it's not good. I'm saying this is not a good re recreation for the uh, Altair Ibn Al Ahad outfit. The Altair Ibn Al Ahad outfit was not actually the same. Like I said, in the, it had rectangular inside capes. This is his, so I will let the back cape slide because this is Tomas' outfit. So, yeah, I would give this one a good 8 out of 10. I recommend it for anybody who's trying to find it, but it is... Oh, it is one hellstorm to find with all those images or those glyphs all around the, the city. Um, now moving on to the underground... Or no, the... Uh, Francia, the Dead Kings DLC. I'll I'll get on to the Iron Mask, which is the far right, and then the, and then no no, which is the bottom one, the very bottom one, and then the Raider outfit, which is the far right. Um, this one is a guard for Franciad. This outfit is buildable if you wish to change the color in the, in the um. You know, in the uh, what do you call it? In the gear loadout. That's it. Yeah, you can change it all through here. I haven't collected that. I've only got the hood, but I'm not too crazy about this. Um, be careful when you start Franciade by mistake. If you don't want to go into Franciade yet, it w and you are accidentally do, it will place you in the first mission, no questions, and you can't quit the mission until you beat it. You can't leave Franciade until you beat it. Nevertheless, here we go. The Franciade outfit looks like like a very, like a very dirty, dirty, very unclean outfit kind of like it's like you just found scraps and pieced it together you can tell it's like you can see the dirt within the outfit like it's some guy rolled around in the mud or something um the boots i wouldn't totally necessarily uh i wouldn't claim those i the the, the pants look like you just found them off somebody uh the chest guard looks a little flabby um makes them look fat in my opinion uh, the red ascot hangs down way, way too low. Uh, Van Brace is not one I would collect. Looks like something really, really old. Um, 
his right arm, you know, the red the red van brace too. It, it you can see how poorly it was made. Look at it. Like you can see his hand within his sleeve. Um makes him makes his arms look re- really small and it just looks like this was put on a uh, very lazy type kind of like not really interested in trying to hurry up with the game i would get probably give this one like a four out of ten mm, let's see i'll go with napoleon first napoleon's artillery outfit is okay the only thing i don't like is the bicorn the stupid hat because everything else looks okay to me a little I guess the belt has an eagle on it a falsely made eagle um, the uh, leg capes are cool it looks really fancy look really clean cut very nice I just don't like the hat I would take that off in an instant if I could um, the belt looks really nice uh, oh, that's what's called the cummerbund. Yeah, the cummerbund. The cummerbund is the red, you know, red lace-up belt that you see. Um, the glove is okay. Just, I guess, add another one. I mean, I wouldn't really. I don't. There's not much to say about that one. I'll give it like a seven. Um, this one. This is your starting outfit for Dead Kings. If you have not played Dead Kings, when you walk into the bar and he says, "Hey, you got to pay your bill or whatever," and um. Mark Desaad tries to help you, this is the outfit you start with. You can use a legacy outfit. Yeah, like, before you even start the game, you can use it and it'll show up. That way you don't have to look at this nasty fright. Anyway, to me it looks kind of the same. The boots are different. Uh, basically looks like some... Basically, like, it looks like strong brown wrap-ups. And it's got the lighter brown wrap-ups, and it's got, like, very low-top shoes, like Arno was in prison or something, or when he was trying to find his pocket watch. Um, they just took the hood and st- strapped it on the back of his France side outfit. Not impressed with this at all. I-, I can't stress this enough. Not impressed with it at all. Uh, looks very lazy. Looks very old. Looks like he found it in a, in a warehouse or something and just decides to wear it. Van Brace is the same. Not impressed. Gives him another glove. Uh, gives him one glove. Uh, and then puts him up with another glove. Um, as far as the Phantom Blade goes, it can be seen, um, but not not impressed. Uh, I give this one like a two. Can't stress that enough. Not impressed. Um, now we move on to the most depressing outfit, I think, by far, is the stupidest. And, like I said, they're running out of ideas. I feel like it's a waste of time. Here you go. The Iron Mask. Basically, look at it. It's no different. This one is basically a recreation of this one. Or no, this one is a recreation of this one, and this one is a recreation of this one. Um, let me just, I'm going to put this one in a short context. There's nothing different. No. All they did was take off the hood, give you an iron mask. They left you with the, the flabby cape, the warehouse outfit. Um, the mask doesn't even look good. You just collect it from a cult. It's a lot of money when you when you finish the mission, but this is just a nasty mask. This doesn't look any well. I don't. I, I can't give this one a score. It's basically the same. If I had to, I would, and I will. I'll give it a zero, a full zero. I can't stress enough how terrible this outfit looks. It's nothing different. Basically, look, watch. Do you see anything different? You don't. You really, you really don't. So, guys, I think that's going to end it. Um, what's my favorite? My favorite is the Altair Ibn al outfit. Though they did not get it spot on, no gloves, the boots are off, I cannot stress how long and how excited I was to grab this outfit. I screamed like a little girl when I finally finished the Helix Rift missions. It was amazing to me. I loved it. Um, I will always love our Levantine mentor. He was the greatest. I cannot stress that enough. Um, But yeah, they did really well. Really well with this. And until my next video, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. Please tell me in the comments, what's your favorite outfit? Which one do you like? And would you like me to post a gameplay? Because if you do, I will. And I'll even even ask you guys to join in on me so you guys can be featured. And um, like I said, 
What is your favorite outfit? What do you think of the outfits I showed you? How about the gear loadout? Uh, and until my next video, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace out. Have a great day.